Kate, I'm Sovereign Sage, and welcome to Underwater Nightmare, like it's Subnautica. No, so about maybe three days ago. I got Icarus, finally, which was a character I really, really wanted. Um, so we're going to use him for the underwater exploration for a quest that I'm currently doing. So this is like all of Ennis. This is the lower half. Um, this, this is like the city level, actually, because this is broken up into three levels. This is the very, very um, top level, which is here, which is not really discovered. I've only been to like one island out here. The other areas I haven't really discovered. I even have a quest that's out there as well. We are in the second lower half. There's even a bottom level as well. This leads to the um, abyss boss though. And I've gotten the point out there. This is the volcano area where you get transported. Apparently there is a map marker out here somewhere, but I don't see it on the map anywhere. And unfortunately that's also where one of my other quest objectives happens to be. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because I nearly died trying to get this space rift right here. Just just to get this space rift, I almost died. Because you it gets too hot and you start burning. There's actually an equipment quest I'm trying to do for that though right now. That if I complete it, I'm supposed to get some kind of a special suit or something. Some kind of an item that allows my character to withstand heat. And then there's another equipment that I'm trying to do to get me into this cave right here. Apparently the pressure inside the cave is too strong and it starts to crush my character. Like your life starts dying fast the moment you walk in there. Because the water pressure starts to literally crush you. So we, I have to do two quests to see if I can do that. And is that that's that boss. The Abyss and the Cure! Oh, I'm not even going there. We're not going to do that. This area likes to lag a bit. Which is why I don't like to hang out in here. Because I don't want it to crash. It does crash quite a bit when you come out here. I think it's because it's trying to load all the sea life and the way the water physics move. It causes it to either start to lag a bit. I mean, this game has a horrible lag problem to begin with, but... It's worse in the water. Also, that bulb fish is... coming from my face. Yep, yeah, it's coming from my ass. It is fun to come out here and explore, but you usually have to fight things for things. Fucking Metroid thing here. It's hard to tell what he said there because his voice is muffled from being under the water, but it sounded like he said you owe me. Is that what he said? Let me break my form here. Break my field. I do like how this game allows you to give other characters fighting cells to other characters. Like, I've never seen very many games do that. There are games who do do that, but not like this. Like, the whole moveset is transferred over. Usually in other games that allow you to switch your character's weapons, like make a character use another weapon, like in Dynasty Warriors or something, um, they have like the basic animation, but not like the full animation. Like, you literally use all of the same moves. The only moves that changes is character's specials. Those are actually locked, as they should be. But as the way the weapon actually plays, every character can play as if they were that character. Like, given Faso's Blossom Flower to Icarus, he uses it like she would. Which is why he's moving like that. He literally has her animation, so... That's why it's super feminine, because, uh... That's the moveset style. Even when I make my main play character use it, she plays like that. Light colors, bro. Oh. So Icarus is an ice character, so it's good to use him in this underwater segment because uh, he can freeze characters, enemies.
See, it's really effective in this underwater section. Because he literally freezes the enemies. They can't do anything. Take the journey. Um, am I right above the marker or, or am I under it? I'm under it. I'm above it. Okay. Yeah, so there's an issue I have in this area where quest characters, like NPCs, have a habit of falling through things. Like, there was this lady that fell through the, the inner city, inside the city. She fell through the floor, and I had to swim down and catch her because she was falling fast. It is something that just kind of happens where NPC characters will fall through stuff, so I'm not even sure if this is really where this guy is supposed to be or not, based on that. Based on that information, I don't know if that's really where he's supposed to be. I'm assuming that it is. That's an enemy. They bury in the ground. You gotta be careful not to get close to that. See, yeah, but the lady they want me to talk to, she has a habit of falling. She falls through the world. Still in your fucking wild luck. Yeah, see, she's supposed to be in the city, but she falls through that part, and I, I don't know how to feel about it. There's also other quests out here, so what I'm going to try to do is get these points, because I need to touch this thing, which will fill out the map. And there's one here as well. I need to try to touch these nearby space rifts. I should probably go in a circle counterclockwise because this one's so far away. So let me... Let me open these up. I should probably, uh... Change my relic. There's a relic, the Pelicoin or whatever. That can, uh... Help me underwater. It'll pull me for a while. The only thing is it uses your stamina to wield it, and once you run out like I am now, can't use it again. But luckily I gave uh, Mia a thing that she regenerates my stamina for me. My, what's called, known as your endurance in, the, in this game. You wanna tussle or what? What's going on? I was, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, is it attacking me or is it just swimming near me?
I'm healing slowly over time. So let me show you what I mean. So these are the things I gave her. This down here. So when the Smart Servant's Master Me is endurance is below 100, immediately recover 180 endurance, cool down 25 seconds. So that's like my stamina bar. Um, and we have this. So when the Smart Servant enters battle, it deals 400% flame damage to its surroundings every 5 seconds, reducing affected targets as healing received by 30% for 6 seconds. So anytime I have her near me and we enter enemies, she starts setting them on fire. And like I said, if my stamina drops too low, she can come and recover it fast. And it does build rather quickly. I didn't realize that you could give her things like that until like way later. I was in my menus and then I noticed that I could equip those to her and I was like, man, I had those the whole time and never had any equipped. And I have a bunch more as well, but they all do different stuff. This must be it. I'm gonna have to fight for it. Is this thing invisible? It's hard to tell with the lag or what's happening. from here. Oh, I think I have to go over a cliff. It's hard to see because I'm not there yet. I'm assuming this is the cliff. Yeah. Oh god, but the water color is changing. I hope this isn't a hazardous area. Let me wait for her to regenerate my thing. See, look how fast it is. Alright, let me see if I can reach the... Not really when the color of the water changes, is because it's a different environment. Okay. Oops. Bumped into it with, my, with the thing. Okay, now I can actually see. Stuck under it.
Yeah, the little thing around his neck is how he's able to breathe underwater. That's how you can talk and breathe underwater in this game. It's a free item that you get as well. Can I grab these? No. Okay. This probably isn't the way. I think I'm going further into a cave. or something. Neon Meow style is so good. Thinking I can go up through that hole in the ceiling to get to that marker. shadows okay, there's not a way to link to the supply pods <laughs> God almost killed me. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fucking depressing. Did he literally just say bye, friend, and died? Icarus, no. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not worried about shit. Yeah, that, that is an angry turtle. I'm not dealing with that. I'm gonna get out of here.
can't tell if that's me swimming or there's something behind me. Must well, just be the water sounds. I think being underwater in games is kind of, it's like therapeutic, you know, like it's calming, you're able to relax. That's what I liked about the new water zone that was added in Genshin a while back, Fontaine. I liked being able to finally be under the water, and when I realized this game did the same thing, I was like, wow. That was actually different, because in this game you actually have to wear a thing around your neck to allow you to breathe underwater. That white thing that's around his neck. And in Genshin, the characters don't have that because the water is like magic or some shit, so. I've always liked underwater sea stuff. There's something like, yeah, it's terrifying because sharks and stuff, but when you stare at the actual fish, like the fish themselves and the sea life, and like the plants, like all the algae and all underwater sea life, like the plant life, it seems like peaceful, you know what I mean? staring at the light under the waves and then the weight of feeling weight lightless like weightless in the water you kind of just get to hover in place and like feel everything around you it's like a whole different feeling really like the schools of fish i did that in genshin where i had the fish swarm around the hita and farina was funny Okay, I got my whole map almost filled out. I kind of want to try to go around to each region of the game to max out all my points, way markers, and fill out the map because that's what I do in all my games. Especially in Genshin, I always go and fill out all the waypoints. That way if I ever have to get back there, I can get there faster. Wow, look at them. They almost look like fries at this point. Swimming fries. They're putting on a little show for me. They really do like look like fries. Alright, um... Hmm. Let's go get this marker here. I'm gonna have to teleport over here though. Yeah, so what I'm really going to be stuck doing now is just going around doing side quests. There's nothing else for me to do. I, can, I can't continue the main story. I think it might be because I have to complete some other little side stories to get it completed. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's like Genshin where they only let you play so far until they add on and I must load it into an enemy. Being attacked by something. Yeah. Yee, it almost killed me. That's bad. Lag, I'm trying to move, but it's lagging. Oh, it's lagging so bad. Okay, I need to leave. I could probably fight it, but I mean, I can, but I, I'm too low on life. Camera's pulling me. I mean, you heal over time on your own. But that was ridiculous. Sometimes that happens. You'll load into a point and you, because of the lag, you can't defend yourself because it's lagging. And your character is just being attacked in the middle of a load screen. Ugh. You have to 
be shitting me. You literally have to be kidding me. So dark. Oh. Um. Is it supposed to be dark here? Oh. Okay. I mean, it's pretty, but oh, I think this is the eerie part of underwater life. Is the darkness, and you don't know what the fuck's lingering. You're like a giant death fish, and you wouldn't even know. I God, I really can't see. Uh. Let me wait and see if Mia can heal me uh, or uh, regenerate my stamina. We can't let Icarus die again. Arrived in targeted area. You sure? It just looks like I'm swimming against the floor. Wait, it can't be the egg, is it? Umber whales. I have to collect stuff. I'm in the secluded rock. It says umber whales can be found in the ring or secluded rock. Ah, shit. That's why I was brought here. That whale that I was attacking me, I needed to defeat it. Well, hold on, I haven't been down here, so let me look around. Oh, now my light comes on. I'm trying to look at it's above me yeah it must be above me outside outside looks like he's losing his mind. That whale! I might have to leave and go back outside. Or maybe I was brought here for the jellyfish. Awaken. Guide me. Guide me through the dark. And it is so dark here, you can't see shit. That's why everything's all glowy and new and luminous and help you see. Now my light comes on. It's just random, I guess.
Where exactly is this thing going? Is that all it's doing? Is it just leading me back and forth? I think it is. I think it's just leading me in a complete square around this area. Yeah, I think so. There's multiple of them though. There's one there and one on the other side. Resilient film, should I try hitting it? You can't though. If I can get him just to slow down for me. Oh, I was trying to guide them all into the eggs. Or whatever.
think I'm missing another one somewhere. Because those two keep moving around and they don't stay inside of them. There's only one that has one that's permanently in it. one on the outside near a rock and now I'm trying to remember where it was and the lag is kind of bad when I look around so I can't see I think this is the one I got from the rocks Maybe I'm trying to get it to where they all stop in the last one. I think that's what it is. You need to get them all to go at the same time, and I didn't. That one's behind. It ain't behind by much, though. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay. Hold on a minute. One is slightly ahead. I try to time it, but it's kind of hard when the lag. Damn it, that other one stopped. Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe I am gonna have to get them into their own ones individually, but they move so fast. I'm not gonna be able to figure that out. Because I think you need them each to be in an egg, you have to delay it. But it's kind of hard to figure out the placing. Like which one you hit first. Yeah, that's going to be hard to figure out. Sometimes he swims too fucking fast. And it causes the lag to act up even worse. And I can't see what I'm doing. You gain speed over time is what it is. Pacing is wrong. See, sometimes he swims too fast, and then other times he swims too slow. I don't know, trying to get that timing is hard. Trying to match the distance, like the way when one reaches another, they'll be re barely reaching it. I might have needed to be a little bit faster though. One of them's gonna have to go delayed.
I need to delay the distance from how long it takes for one to reach one, because you need to have them all in each of it, but I think I'm going... My pacing might be bad. You have to, like, delay release them. So you have to plan it out. Like, as one's reaching one, the other one will reaching, but you got to see how long it takes the distance. Takes almost about 15 seconds. I would have had it if it wouldn't have stopped. also the lag too and I can't get to the other ones in time. I can only send it when it's about halfway. gotta time it just right so that they each end up in one of the eggs or the 
whatever you want to call it, the bones at the same time. Icarus, will you stop? You're screwing up the pacing. Needed him to stop so I could hit it, but he wouldn't fucking quit moving, and the lag is bad. Oh man, that just screwed up everything, because I needed to hit it right at that moment, and I couldn't. Like, sometimes he swims too fucking fast, and other times he swims too slow. It's like... Oh my god. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this timing right. I can't even angle him right because it's hard to move in the water. I knew I would get the pacing right eventually. You have to sit, wait till it's in the middle to send the next one. I was tr I was trying to measure the distance, like how long it takes is what I was doing. Oh lag, please! I can't see.
Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this just in, Icarus has become a god. He's become the god of underwater. Okay. Oh my god. That was ridiculous, but I, I came too far and I didn't feel like giving up. I knew I would get it eventually. I was trying to just measure the distance, like how long does it take? Because they all start in the middle anyway, right? So I was like, well, from the middle to the egg, how long does that take? And it was about 15 seconds. So you kind of have to let one go, wait till it's in the middle, then set the other one, wait till the first one you set is in the middle on the other section, and then send it. It was it took forever to get the pacing right. Because one was already inside of there, which kind of made it easier, because I already had one done, basically. 